Paul Group with GlideFast Consulting. Today I was going to show a really awesome feature coming in the New York release of ServiceNow, uh, and that is the idea portal. So before there was never a portal, it was more of just a, a regular form from ServiceNow, and you could see other ideas and uh, review your own ideas. But now with the New York release, they actually introduced an entire portal which has some really cool features. So for instance, you can now come in here and see the ideas that have been submitted. And they even uh, added the feature to upvote and also downvote ideas. So that way you can kind of see what ideas are trending to the top. You know, what do people really want within your organization? And then if we click into say an idea here, you can see here, we also have a new section for comments. So people within the organization can collaborate on the idea um, they can see the status of it, that it's currently open, when it was created, who it's created by, details on the idea. So um, all that good information to kind of help understand the idea, and then they can collaborate back and forth on the idea. And then as a demand manager, you can actually come in here and say you, this is a good idea. You've decided after discussing it internally that you want to move forward. You can come to this uh, section here and open a platform. And from here, you can see all the different states you can put it into. So say, for instance, you needed more information on the idea, you can move it here. So that way, any users that are looking at it or the submitter can actually see, oh, you're looking for more information. So you need to set up time to understand the idea more. Um, you can say it's under review if you have an internal board review meeting to review the ideas. You can let them know when it's in the backlog, when it's planned, when it's in development, and then completed. Alternatively, if it's not an idea that's going to get implemented, you can put unlikely to implement. Um, market as a duplicate if there's multiple ideas for the same thing, or let them know that this already exists. So let's say we like this particular idea, so we want to go ahead and click this create task. And from here, we can either go directly into a project or go into the demand management module. So if we click OK, and now it creates a demand, and it moves it to end backlog. So that way the end user knows that it is currently added to the backlog, it's been accepted, and then they'll get future updates as it moves to the progress process. So now we can go through and create an idea. Let's say we want to have less notifications from incidents. You can see here there's related ideas popping up as I'm typing. So that way, if there is an idea already out here that's around the same thing that you're submitting your idea on, you can actually go upvote it and add comments to it instead of creating a duplicate idea. So that way it's you don't have 15 of the same idea in the platform. You can hopefully try to consolidate them by users seeing that there's already an idea out there for it. For this instance, I don't see one that would pertain to what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on. So the next thing is you have a category. So you can actually have um, a hierarchical category. And you can choose, you know, which, what does it kind of fall under? So let's say product enhancement. And then you can also go back here and say it also pertains to uh, process improvements. So you can actually have multiple categories that this would fall under. So once you put more of a description, go ahead and click create. And now your idea will be out here in the portal for everyone to see. They can upvote, downvote, comment, and then the demand manager can take a look at it as well. Another really cool feature I love about this too is not only do you come with this idea portal, but you can actually uh, create additional idea portals. And this is all configuration, there's no customization to it. So for instance, I went ahead and created this marketing one. So this all has to do with all ideas around marketing. So for instance, customer success stories or uh, market the future of Atlanta coming up next week. So for this one, if you create an idea, you'll see the category list is actually different. You have a much smaller category list and these are all gonna be geared towards marketing. So an area this could really be useful in is if you have different departments within your organization, dividing out their different idea boards to help people get the ideas to the right team to get that implemented for them. And then very quickly, the last thing I'll show is just a little bit of the setup of how uh, ServiceNow has got this set up to make it pretty pretty easy to get some extra idea module set up. So you actually have a settings now under ideas. So there's an ideas module. So you have uh, the current two that I have is the internal and marketing one. And if you click in here, so what it is, it's a idea table that's extended off the core idea table. 
and then you give it a module idea for the service portal. And then if you go down to categories, you can actually see here's the category. So we built out categories for blogs and we put this under the marketing module. And then if you look, you can see this employee stories, which is another category, but it has a parent of blogs. So that's how you make your hierarchy of categories for the idea portal. And then the last piece is the idea category config. So this is how you can kind of eliminate uh, what category should show for which idea portal. So for instance, for the marketing one, we have it looking at the category table, which you can also have a look at other tables if you already have another table with categories on it. And then you select which is the uh, category field you wanna look at, so the name of the category, if it has a parent field, which module it belongs to, and then you can filter it down. So I only wanna look at active categories and where the module is marketing. So it's very, very easy uh, to configure and add additional idea portals for your organization and really take off with understanding the needs of your uh, employees and where you can improve better. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Uh, check us out online at glidefast.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.